Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. I am a reseller and I basically sell anything I can get my hands on as my job to pay our bills. <laughs> if you didn't know that already. Anyway, um, to everyone that keeps coming back, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. You mean the world to me. And to anyone that's new that's here, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider giving me a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You can always unsubscribe. If you want to subscribe, it's free and it helps me out, helps me to grow. And also, if you'd like to hit the bell for regular notifications, whenever I upload a video, you will not miss it. All my videos are numbered, so you can see what sort of order you're watching them in. Unless you go back and watch some really old videos, which aren't as good as these ones, believe me. I have grown. <laughs> um, yeah, then they aren't numbered. But feel free to go back and have a nosy and see what I used to be like. Um, so... This is going to be a haul video of stuff I've got to sell on my eBay shop. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to support me a little more, you can buy me a coffee. The link will be in the description. Anyone who does that will get a shout out in the next, in, well, in a future video. These videos are all backed up at the minute to enable me to spend time with my family over the holidays. So they may be a little behind. So if you did send me a gift now, it may be about 14 videos time that you get a thank you, but you will get one. I promise. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's get on with it. <laughs> It's been really funny. I need to tell you a little story before I start this. I love to sell dolls. Anybody that is a regular on here will know that. I think dolls are probably my favourite thing to find, my favourite thing to sell. I just really enjoy it. Can't even tell you why. I think it's more of the little girl inside me that just loves buying dolls. But I haven't found any for a long time. I've found one every now and again so I try and do manifestation law of attraction that sort of thing and I was thinking to myself over the last few weeks I want to find some dolls I'm gonna find some dolls I want to find some dolls I'm gonna find some dolls and manifesting it feeling excited about finding it but I also sort of put in there that I want to find them at a good price that I can pay now this is the funny thing about it we went to the charity shop and it's a charity shop that normally doesn't have a lot of stuff in that I like for the right price and they haven't had any dolls in for ages and when they have had dolls in they have been £3 to £3.50 a doll. They put their prices up and it made me real sad because I always buy all their dolls and they put me, they basically priced me out of the market so... I was gutted. I think I did have a little rant about it, possibly on one of my bitching corner videos. <laughs> Probably did. Anyway, cut a long story short, we go in there and there was tons of dolls and they had marked the prices back down to what they used to sell them for. Which means one of two things. They have either realise they can't sell them for more than £3 a doll. And bearing in mind as well, they don't charge differently for dolls that are fully clothed or dolls that are naked. They're all the same price, which I think is a bit odd. Because I think if you want some dolls, you know, most people won't pay the same price. I mean, I do, but we'll forget about that. Most people don't pay the same price for a cl fully clothed doll and a naked doll. You'd want to... you'd. You could maybe put a little bit of a higher ticket on the clothed doll or maybe a lower ticket on the not so clothed doll, the naked doll, but they didn't. Anyway, I've found tons, so I'm really excited. Rob thinks it's a load of rubbish. I believe in it because every time I ask the universe for something, I find it. 
I need to do it with something really obscure, something that I won't find very often. I've been asking for 90s Teletubbies as well, and when I went to York on a previous video, I found two. Now, they are 90s. On the labels, I'm pointing over there because that's where they are. On the labels, they do say 1996 or 1998 on them, I believe. But inside, on the battery case, it says 2004. But I just thought, oh, that's quite close. It's quite close. I, I can give them that because they do say 90s on them. But inside, it says 2004. So obviously, they're either time travellers or they are from 2004. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought they were from the 90s and I was like, wow. And they were the cheapest thing in the shop. If you watch my York video, the charity shops there are more like boutiques. They charge £10 for an old vintage doll. And when I'm talking old vintage doll, I'm talking like what I buy, like 90s, 80s, 70s. Because um, vintage is 20 years plus. I've had quite a few people ask me about that. I had to look into it a while ago because I was really interested in why people say things are vintage, retro, antique. Now I know antique has to be over a hundred years old. So I was like, well, what's the deal with these? So if you're listing something and you're saying it's vintage, it's got to be 20 years old plus. Um, and with retro items, anything, I would say 10 years plus in between that bracket. Um, yeah, I tend to put Y2K in there as well, if I can, if it's around that time. But yeah, um, vintage dolls, £10. There was, I think I, told, I said in the video, there was a Fisher-Price record player from the 80s, maybe even the 70s, because it might have been my brother's, because I had it when I was little, um, with the records you put on and it plays the nursery rhymes. You know the one. I think it's red and like a off-white. I think it used to be white when it was new. Um, in Hesel, where I live, it was £20 in the British Heart Foundation. But in York, the same one, and it didn't have records with it, was £30. So to find two Teletubbies £4 each that were fully working was amazing. So I saw that as a thing. So number the first thing I want you to do in the comments, right, before I start this haul, number one, I want you to tell me if you believe in law of attraction, manifestation, and all that sort of thing. And number two, I want all of you who live around where I live, so Hesel Hull area, can you comment and say hi? I keep meeting people every time I'm out, and so does my husband, Rob. Where, even when I'm not with him, asking them if, asking him if he's my husband. And I think it's lovely, but I want to say hello to you all. I want to know who's watching my channel, so pop me a comment. And you can comment even if you haven't sub subscribed. But if you subscribed, you've helped me out a lot. <laughs> And you don't have to hit the bell, so I won't be in your face all the time. But if you subscribe, it does help me. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Right, so anyway, after that little story, and I want to find out how your feelings are about things like this. Do you believe in it? Like I say, Rob doesn't. Rob don't believe in any of that stuff. I, I believe in all sorts of things. I'm very spiritual. Um, I believe that there's an afterlife and all stuff like that. Rob doesn't. But we don't talk about it really and if i do he just nods and smiles which i think to be honest is the perfect husband <laughs> but there you go right i'm going to show you what i bought anyway it isn't all dolls um so don't go away if it's not dolls you're interested in or if you're not interested in dolls dear me um i've got a confession to make as well um Rob has just been in the bath and I was sat downstairs watching Dexter playing Minecraft and I fell asleep. <laughs> so I'm a bit dopey at the minute. Um, right, okay. <laughs> it's the summer holidays. Right, so I've got this. I'm sure this is a Mandela effect. Our generation. Now, I thought that the Our Generation dolls and franchise by Batat, Batat Inc., I think that says, yeah, um, I thought it was my generation. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. I've always thought it was my generation. And I have sold dolls like this before. But they've always had labels on. And I'm sure I've still listed them as my generation. And when you actually put my generation into eBay when searching these, they still come up. And some people are writing them as that. So I don't know whether it's been changed or whether it's a Mandela effect. 
you don't know what a Mandela effect is, Google it. You can have hours of reading and footage and videos. It's very interesting. Um, but yeah, a lot of people, I think it's just false memories myself, but this is a weird one for me because I thought it was my generation, but it says our generation. And this is a sitting pretty salon chair. It still has its tag. Now, I know it's not brand new because the tag's a little battered. Um, don't know who's been getting hungry and eating that, but yeah. Get dolled up. And then it says something in what looks like Spanish. Anyway, this was £4.99. Um, pleased to say there's a gift, ca gift aid card on it, which I always like to see. So yeah, this is basically a salon chair. It's got like the high chair seating thing on it. So obviously you can strap your doll in so it doesn't fall down it's got this bit for the feet it's got this bit to make it go higher and that bit to pop it back up it's in great condition a little dusty but okay now what i'm going to do with this there are some of these listed on ebay for around 10 to 15 pound but i and I always say I'll never do this. I probably still won't do it. But I'm thinking that if I can keep getting stock up until the end of the holidays and manage to list my five items a day, which is what I'm doing at the minute, that's my challenge all the way through the holidays, five items a day. I'm hoping at some point I will not run out. But yeah, I might keep this aside for Q4. Um and keep the dolls that I've got to go with it with it and do it as like a Christmas present bundle but what I also might do is put one doll with it list it now at a price that I want and just leave it there till Christmas and then do the other two dolls as different listings I don't know what would you do I'll have to show you the dolls first to give you a good indication of what I mean um Hang on a second. The other dolls are buried. And I don't mean that to sound so sinister. I do apologise. <laughs> I'm always apologising, aren't I? And I'm like telling people, don't apologise. Don't apologise for who you are. Don't apologise. And all I'm like is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, this is the first one. So what I need to do really is have a little google with these this one's real cute it's got a necklace like a proper necklace um there we go she's had her hair done by some lovely little girl you see what i'll probably do as well with these i will clean them up get the marks off them i will do their hair because they've got quite straight hair um so i don't have to worry about the curls coming out and yeah just do them up nicely so they look new but look at her she's beautiful Beautiful. She has a bit of a mark on her dress, but I can sort that out. Yeah, she's got like a little school outfit on. So this is an Our Generation. I've got it right. I thought I was going to say my. This is an Our Generation doll. Um, they have the tags on them there. Look, that's how you can tell. You can get designer friend ones as well that are very similar. And I've had those before. These ones tend to be more expensive than designer friend um, for resale. This was five ninety nine. Now I do I do hear all the yikes, you know, five ninety nine. Whoa, that's a lot of money. But she's got a full outfit. She has got marks, but I can get these off. Um, all I'll do with these is use a little nail polish remover on a cotton swab, and then clean it over, and um, wash it off. Obviously, just in case I've got any little kids that get it that like to bite legs and things. Um, and obviously, like I said, I'll do her hair, how I do their hair normally. If you haven't seen my video, I go in more depth in my video, but I put warm water, um, fabric softener, and then I swish the hair around, obviously take out these lovely clips and things first. And then I comb through, but start from the bottom, like you do anyway when you comb long hair, get all the knots out and then leave it to dry. And it usually makes it look beautiful. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is on my channel. And I will try and remember to do a little video on there, the before and after 
or a post at least to show you what I do. Um, but I have got a video on my YouTube about getting knots out of doll's hair and how I clean up toys, all stuff like that. So go and have a look. I try and put on factual videos so you've, you know, got answers to things, Q&As and all that. But that one is a separate one. I think it's how, to, how I clean up toys and how I do their hair. There's two different videos. But yeah, she was £5.99. Um, but I couldn't leave her. So I got her. And I also bought this one. This one was £5.99 as well. Now, her hair is a bit messier. She's got... I don't know whether these are official Our Generation clothes, but she's got a little knitted hat, which I think is adorable, and this little knitted dress that matches the hat. She also has boots. So, yeah, um, she was £5.99 too. These were both from Age UK really cute story actually after i bought all this stuff i did my usual and i wasn't brave the lady was asking me questions about why i was buying so much stuff and i kind of dodged the questions oh someone's gonna be really happy and i was like oh yes they are and then she went oh are you uh are you stocking up is it someone's birthday or something and i went oh well i said you can't leave these things behind when you find them can you <laughs> that was exactly what i said Rob was in the background giggling at me because he doesn't care. He'll tell people he's a reseller. But I have had so much negativity about it in the past. I don't like telling people that. Obviously, if I, if I see people and they know I do YouTube, I'll speak to you in a charity shop. Don't feel like you can't come and talk to me because you can. And if people over here, it's fine. But I don't tend to offer that information out. So, yeah, anyway, when I'd bought all these things, I heard her go into the back and went, oh, I've just sold all these dolls to this lady. She bought everything. I'm so happy our till was, has got so much money in it. And I was just like, that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's what it's all about. They got the price they wanted for something and they were happy with what they'd done. I'm not going to go any further into this because you know what I'm like. But, yeah, this is another one. Look, there's the tags. So yeah, she was £5.99 as well. So what I'm thinking is I'll bundle these two up together when I've sorted them out because they've got some marks and things because they are both full outfitted girls. And I think I'll try for £25. Now, it's not brilliant profits when I've spent 12 but I think it's doable near Christmas. And then I've got this beautiful... <laughs> she's got like a like a pearlish hairband it's just so pretty i would wear that she is in our generation she's there look but she was 4.99 so going back to what i was saying about dolls with no clothes they did think about this when they put the price on this one because she is naked but i do think i have some clothes that will fit her her hair is going to need sorting out she kind of looks like an 80s rock band guy at the moment you know somehow like Def Leppard or something like that a wasp if you watched my last video his hair was banging it was so good but I'm thinking I might bundle hair up with this then that's a £10 listing that I will hopefully get 2025 for because the chair is selling on its own for around 15 so I'm hoping if I get hair all nice <laughs> she's got like a Kesha or Christina Aguilera thing going on when she was in the dirty video, aren't she? Her hair is, oh, it's beautiful. There's a lot of it, but it's just all over the place. But yeah, I'm going to have to sort this out. But I'm thinking 2025 for those two, 2025 for the doll and chair. So how much do I spend on all of these? Yeah, that'll, that'll double my profit, won't it? Because that was 12, this was 10, so that's 22. If I get 20, 25 for each bundle, happy days, I've made some profit. I know it's not amazing, but I couldn't leave them because they're lovely dolls and I know that I can do something with them and make them nice and then hopefully someone will buy them near Christmas. Then I bought this. Now, I saw this tub on the side and I thought, oh, what's that? And I thought it looks like a bath bomb kit. But it obviously hasn't got a bath bomb kit inside it. So this was three ninety nine Again, from Age UK. I spent a lot of money in there. Full of 
Barbie doll type clothes. I don't think they're all Mattel. I don't think any of them are Mattel, but they're for dolls. And as we know, I snap up dolls clothes um, whenever I see them, no matter what sort of doll they're for, because I get a lot of dolls and yeah, I mean, look, there's like a, I think that's a Harry Potter cape. It's funny that. Um, and I'll show you why in a bit. I've got some questions for you all. Oh, there's even a, there's a lovely little mug there. I think that is a Barbie, because I think it's got a B on it. But yeah, so I've got all of those. This full of um, dolls clothes for 3 99 So obviously I'm not selling these and I won't be selling this tub. Um, this will just stock up my dolls clothes because I have been using a lot lately because I've been finding a lot of dolls and I'm finding a lot of naked dolls and I have to dress them all. Right, okay. I might actually have to split this into two videos because otherwise it's going to be too long for you guys, isn't it? Um, I haven't even gone through a lot yet. I've been gabbing that much. Let's see how we get on. So, the next ones won't take me that long, actually, because they're pretty self-explanatory. I will pause this while I get right, them Okay, out. so, the dolls I was telling you about with the Law of Attraction thing. £1.49 all these each. Now, I know I've always said I like to pay around a pound, but this is how much I used to buy them for in Age UK. And then they put the prices up to three, three fifty a doll and I couldn't afford it. So I was a bit disappointed to say the least, but I basically I found all these Mattel dolls. There were some other dolls as well, but I left them behind. And um, they were like Disney dolls and stuff, but I tend to not get them anymore unless they're in a bundle that's already been made up on Marketplace or, you know, say at the car boot and they say, you can have so many for this amount and I need to make up my bundle. Otherwise I don't bother. So, she is half naked, so I'm going to find some trousers or a skirt to go with her. So she was one forty nine. Um, this is a Mattel doll. I know it's not Barbie because she's not got Barbie's face, but she's got a full cheerleading outfit, no shoes. One forty nine. Does anyone know who she is? Let me know in the comments if you know who this doll is. Um, then I got this one, which is pink and purple. No, pink, blue and purple hair, or pink turquoise and purple hair. Who knows? Um, and a lovely princess dress, one forty nine. This one um, has an outfit, no shoes, lovely big bobble in her hair, one forty nine. And then I got these two. She is completely naked, but apart from her shoes, things will be said about you, one forty nine. And this one again, no bottoms, just a top, one forty nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress all of these so they look decent, and I'm going to do bundles of three. Um, so yeah, I'll do their hair like I've done before, make sure they're all clean, clothe them and I will put two bundles of three on for £15 each or roundabout. I usually start at £17.99, put offers on and see what happens. Sometimes they can sell outright for that, depending on what dolls I've got in the bundle I suppose. Um, and other times, yeah, they can take a lot longer. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here because I am rambling on and it's going on for far too long and I don't want to keep you all bored. So, watch out for part two of this. Um, thank you so much for watching, as always. Like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to support me further. Buy me coffees in the description and the super thanks if you want to do that also. I will always give a shout out in one of my later videos to anyone that does that for me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da!